The data is in. Intelligent creators who are using coupons and discounts are massively outconverting their competition. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to create, customize, and then use SamCart's dynamic coupons to convert more visitors into paying customers. Let's check it out. All right, so first things first, let's talk about how to create coupons inside of SamCart. Uh, I'll just go back, we'll start over, right? From the dashboard. Uh, there's two places. You can open up any individual product. So if I go to the products tab, and then I come in here and open up a specific product. Let me just search for one I know I'm using. I'll open up a product, and uh, if I go ahead and go to the offers tab from any product, I can scroll down to the bottom, and I can see uh, any coupons that apply to this product specifically, right? I can toggle coupons on and off. So I can say I want to allow coupons on this checkout or not. Uh, I can add other existing coupons to this product by using this dropdown. So I've got other ones. Let's do this Black Friday one. If I wanted to, I have a Black Friday 20 coupon. If I want to apply that, I simply choose it from the dropdown. And all of a sudden, bam, it is now applied to this product. I can create a new coupon really quickly right here. Or, right, I'll just go ahead and take care of this. Uh, we'll go to the Offers tab. The offers tab is where you have uh, the offers and then click on coupons up here at the top. And this is where you can see all of your coupons in one very nicely laid out table, one very nice location. Uh, you can see the coupon code the customer has to enter. It doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. It's not case sensitive. It's all good. You can see the type of discount. You can give it a quick description. Then this column over here is really cool. This is where you can see what products this coupon currently applies to. The sort of default if you create a new coupon is that it's gonna apply to everything, but you can then choose and say, okay, cool, I only want this coupon to apply to one product or a suite of products. So uh, you can change that anytime. If I were to click on this button right here, the save 2024, I can click and see exactly which products this currently applies to. I can uh, remove products from this list. I can search and find other products to add to this and say, cool, I want this one and this one and this one, I just added three more. So it started with six, I deleted one and I added three. So that should be eight if I click save, right? Eight, was it not? It is eight, there we go, so it's eight. And you can see this new kind of group of products that this coupon applies to. Uh, you can see if the discount is recurring or not, right? So there are coupons that only apply to the first charge. Of maybe, maybe you wanna discount the first month of a subscription, but the other ones you wanna stay you know, full price, then you would turn the recurring discount off. In this case, I want it on. And then there's the status button, which is, we'll get to that in a second, but creating coupons and customizing them, you can have you can have coupons that start at a certain time and turn off at a certain time so that some are active and some are not. But let's go ahead and create a quick new coupon really quick, right? So coupon code, what is someone going to actually have to plug in uh, in order to get this coupon? So if I'll just say, you know, coupe, 25, right? And we'll say this is a uh, a percent off or is it a flat rate? Is this gonna take off? A flat rate would say, I want this to take off $10, right? Uh, or if I turn it into a percent, then I'm gonna say, now this is gonna take off 10% of my total. We'll make it 25 because it's coupe 25. I'll say that. I can say apply to all products or specific products, which is then where I could start typing and filling out, okay, you know, hey, which which products do I want this actually to apply to? And you can just do like the quick search select stuff and, you know, click as many products as you'd like. You can give it a quick description. The description is just internal. doesn't matter. It's just for you to see here in this table so it can remind you about, oh, right, this is that coupon I made for that Black Friday sale or something like that. Scheduling and duration, right? Now we're customizing this coupon, uh, is you can have coupons start at a certain date. So you can build anticipation of an upcoming sale by saying, hey, guys, next you know, next Tuesday night, right? At, you know, midnight Pacific or something, 11 o'clock your time, um, we're gonna run a sale, right? And you can, you know, go to this link, get ready with this coupon and sort of like people selling out Black, Fly or Black Friday promotions and flyers to let people know about discounts they have coming up. You can build anticipation with a start date or you can also set an end date, right? Uh, so I can say, hey guys, by the way, you know, our, our next big product launch ends, you know, at 12 a.m. or something, right? So I can say, cool, I can say March 3rd, and then, you know, go ahead and set that time. And there you go, you've got a, a coupon with a start date or an end date, right? So you can build anticipation for something that's coming up. You can uh, build in urgency and scarcity for a coupon that's gonna disappear after a certain time. And then the last 
toggles simply to allow recurring discounts. So with this checked, if you applied this to a subscription, it would take off 25% of every single recurring charge forever and ever, right? If I were to leave this button, uh, leave this untoggled off, toggled off, right? Then no matter what, it would apply the discount to whatever the price is someone is paying right at checkout and never again, right? So I'll leave this as unrecurring and I'll just go ahead and click create coupon. Now, that is how you create and customize these coupons. Let me show you how you use them to convert. So if I go back into any individual product that I have, right, I'm gonna be able to grab the URL to that checkout, right? So in this example, I'll uh, come in here and click on the Checkout Anywhere tab and just go to Express, which is sort of the ultra lightweight, new, modern, fast, you know, checkout experience from SamCard. And if I just copy this URL and then open it up in a new tab, this is what I get. This is Checkout Express, right? Um, and so uh, you can see I have an area for a coupon code, but nothing's there. One of the coolest things you should be doing, and I mean, everyone should be doing right now, is applying auto discounting. So I've created a coupon. I have coupons that apply to this product. And all I need to do is take the URL. Actually, I can just show you guys this really quick. If I just zoom in right here, you can see these two links right here are just the uh, the URL to the checkout page with question mark, coupon equals, and then the name of the coupon that you have that is active, right? And so if I take this URL, and instead of just sending people right to Express, if I come back over here and just plug in that with the coupon at the end, you can see this coupon is automatically applied, right? So someone comes to this page, they don't need to type in anything. You're not showing them some fake, you know, discount. It's not some strike through graphic that says this is normally a thousand and you're getting it for a hundred. You're the discount is automatically applied. Customers who are taking advantage of this technology, their products are converting three times higher than people who are not right. Again, as a actual number is 296% higher products that use coupon codes like this than for people who are not using coupons, an absolutely massive, massive number. And so not only can you do this with express, you can actually do this. If I come back over here, here is a SAM card sales page. So this is sort of the, if you want a different experience, you want a longer experience with SAM cards, check out at the bottom. I can do the same thing. And all I'm going to do is it'll be a little off screen, but I'm going to type in question mark coupon equals and then the, a coupon code that's real. In this case, save 25 is a coupon that I've made. And so now if I link to here directly, right, you can see down here, coupon has successfully been applied to my order. At the bottom, I can see the discount and there's just something so magical about seeing that discount at the bottom, right? Uh, you can even do this in, uh, in powerful ways. Here is embed, right? So this is uh, a page built on Elementor. It's built on WordPress and we are embedding Sam Cart's new checkout embed over here. So if I go back over to the product, you can see here's Express, here's Embed. I copy that Embed code and let me grab, uh, I'll open up a text edit right now and just bring this over. SimCart's Embed code is really, really lightweight. Like this is it. I just copied the Embed code and let me go ahead. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Enhance. Ooh, ooh, too big, too big. Bring it down. Okay. Here's Sam Cart's embed code that produces this embed code right here is what produces this and lets you bring Sam Cart's world leading checkout anywhere you want it onto your Elementor page, onto your WordPress or Webflow or Wix or Squarespace, Kajabi, whatever you use to build your website, you can embed, you can embed Sam Cart's checkout right here by using this code. Um, so you can see right here, right? It's just a really, really lightweight piece of code. And we have built in this coupon equals and given you two quotation marks, right? And so if you were to plug in the name of a coupon that applies to this product, right? I should do this inside the quotation marks. That's what we want, like that. We've built this little area that says coupon equals. And all you have to do is put, the, put a coupon code between those quotes. And when someone loads this page, right? the discount will be automatically applied to the embedded checkout on the page, right? Which is wild, really, really, really awesome stuff that we've seen here. So what do you do with this, right? Like I showed you before, if I pull that note back up, right? All you need to do is like from your next webinar, from your next email blast, you know, whatever, right? Take the URL to your page, add question mark, coupon equals in the name of a coupon, uh, and just grab this link, right? If I just, again, let me open this up in a new tab. I'm gonna open up this express, the coupon code is automatically applied. Drop this into your email broadcast. 
maybe you come back into an email broadcast that you're going to be sending out to your folks, right? And I'm just going to adjust the URL that I'm sending people to, to be that URL and click apply. And now people who click from this email campaign will be taken, you know, right to a, a checkout experience with a coupon code automatically applied, right? This is intelligent use of coupons, this auto discounting feature. Absolutely wild. The kinds of things that this is producing are unreal. But that is how you use SamCart's coupons to increase your conversion rates and make more money. We are seeing unreal numbers. Like I said, I mentioned tripling conversion rates when people are using coupons versus not. The auto discounting feature, absolutely an enormous you know tool in your toolbox to do that. We're also seeing average order values are higher when people are using coupons. So people are not only more people are buying, but they're spending more while they're doing it, right? So new coupon area, go check it out inside of your uh, inside of your SamCart account. There's tons of different options, customize with start dates and end dates, use auto discounting to convert more people into paying customers and start using coupons. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.